All right. Uh, good morning, everybody. So today I would like to introduce you about uh, sir, the overall cost map of the financial models. So as you can see on the slide, so you can see that we're going to have uh, nine chapters. The first chapter is going to be introduction of the financial model. The second one is going to be the sensitivity analysis, trend line, and regression analysis. And the, the next chapter is going to be optimized liner. And the chapter number four, we're going to go for the scenario analysis and gone sick. And the chapter five, we come into the some very basic financial calculations. And the chapter six is about cost of a capital model. And seven, the financial segment model. And chapter eight, evaluations. And the final chapter is going to be the break-even analysis. So today is the first day. So I'm going to go straight to the first unit, introduction of financial model. So the next slide, please. Uh, so introduction of financial model. So this is a, seem to be the strained term for you, financial model, right? Uh, and luckily that I'm going to try to make it so easy for you to understand about the term. So come, coming to the next slide, I'm going to give you the definitions of the financial model, please. Okay, financial model at first, as you can see in the slide, is designed to represent the math in the mathematical term, the relationship between among, actually among many variables of a financial problem so that it can be used to answer the what if questions or make the projections. So it seems to be a little bit confused right now where well, well, a lot of the new terms showing up, but I would like to show to you by the by the assemble like this. So for example, before you, uh, you enjoy the Tet holiday, right? But before you make decision to travel for the Tet holiday, your concerns about the two destinations. So I would like to write down the two destinations that you're going to concern to travel during the Tet holiday. The first one is China, and the second one is Turkey. So that's going to be the two destinations that you intend to choose for your Tet uh, holidays. So what the criteria for you to make decisions as to which place that you're going to choose to travel during the TET. So I think that there's some criteria for you to think about before you make decision. Why, why we need to come to China, why we need to come to Turkey. First of all, it's going to be the beautiful sightseeing. All right, so we're going to see the beautiful sightseeing going to be the criteria for you to make decision whether you want to see the, those countries. All right, the second one is going to be the budget, which is mean that how much money it's going to cost you if you travel one or in two location here. And the third one is going to be safety. Of course, if you travel someplace, you need to be safe, right? And the, the last one is, last but not least, is going to be just the land, OK? The land. All right. It includes the land of the whole whole holiday, and it includes the land of the flight. Okay, so it's going to be flight land and holiday land. All right. So we have some criteria for you to make decision whether you're going to travel to China or Turkey. So we're gonna if we have some criteria already. Now we put the number for the criteria. For example, if you want to make decision whether you want to travel to China or Turkey, so we think about, we really put the beautiful sightseeing into the top priority, which is mean that if you want to come to that country, you're really concerned about the beautiful sightseeing. If the country has enough or a lot of the beautiful sightseeing, that's going to be the place that you choose to travel. So the beautiful sightseeing, I'm going to say about, it's make about 30% of your decision. 30%, all right. And the budget, of course, very important. So the budget, you think about, all right, uh, it's going to be 25%. Safety, safety is, is a very concerning issue, right? We need to be safe, OK? We need to feel safe. So I think it's going to contribute about 25% again. So and the lane is going to be 20%. So before the test, before the outbreak happened, you know, the virus, corona happened, so we didn't know about the anything. So we chose China or Turkey, and we made the mathematical uh, equations, okay? 
So beautiful sizing, 30%. And we're going to mark for China. What do you think about China and Turkey? China, do you think there are a lot of the beautiful sizing? Yeah, I think so. There are a lot of beautiful sizing in China. So I think that the beautiful sizing in China is going to be in China. Beautiful sizing, the ranking, the ranking is going to be the 10, going to be the maximum. The zero is going to be the minimum. All right? So I think the China is going to be 7. Oh, I think eight. Eight, that could be better. Eight. Okay, so we get eight. We time with the 30%. Okay. Because of China, it's going to be eight in the beautiful sightseeing in Turkey. What do you think about in Turkey? Beautiful sightseeing. How much? How much that we're going to mark for the beautiful sightseeing in Turkey? It could be seven. Okay? Seven. We time with 30%. All right, we continue with the budget. So what do you think? China and Turkey, which one going to be expensive? I think it's going to be the same, okay? Actually, it's going to be the same. So it depends on the length of the day, it's the length of the, your holiday. So I think it's going to be the same. So this one is going to be 5, okay? Time with 25%. This one, 5 is for budget. Time with 25% for budget, okay? Turkey also 5 for budget. China also 5 for budget. And we time with the proportions of the budget. Okay, and we plus with safety, 25%. Safety. So what do you think about China before the outbreak? China seemed to be the very nice country, seemed to be the very stable and safe country. So we give the blood for China so high before the outbreak. Okay, remember, we took the, the case before the outbreak. So we think about night. Safety is really nice. Okay, but Turkey? Oh, not so good, good, right? Because there are a lot of their bum and stuff like that. So it's going to be 25%. We time wood, sis. Okay? And then we get land. Land going to be the same. Okay? For China and Turkey, the land going to be uh, China a little bit better because the flight land is going to be shorter than Turkey. So I'm going to give China 7, time with 20%. For the land in Turkey, it's going to be Six times with twenty percent. So we get the equations, and we compare, and we can see that it seems somehow the China overpassed the Turkey. So we made decision. Okay, China, here we go. All right, we're gonna travel to China because look at the number, look at the equations, and we think that the China gonna be the good country for us to travel during TED, right? We look into the beautiful sizing, higher mark. We look into the budgets, could be the same a little bit. We look at the safety, yeah, very safe before the outbreak, okay? And the plane flying shorter than Turkey. So everything in China is so good. So we make decision. All right, we travel to China. Unfortunately, we knew about that on 27. Uh, on 20, sorry, 22, 22nd January, that we announced the news that China have the, the virus, coronavirus. So it turned out that the safety of the China for the number nine is going to be rough, number one. Nobody wants to tra travel to China right now because it's an outbreak of the corona, all right? So, and the whole equation that we made and the whole equation that we calculate it turned out that with the decision we made for China, now we need to change. So we have to change from China to Turkey. Because it seems that Turkey is still safe, but then China somehow. And the other proportions seem to be the same, all right? But because the safety come down like that, so it's, it's make us to, make, to change our decision. So look into that the equations, and we can see that. This one, the one that I just demonstrated for you, this is the financial model. Financial model basically is just some of the criteria. I put it here and I try to give it the number. I try to use the mathematical relationship, okay? I try to connect it by the relationship of the mathematical term and then I can have the result, the result, the point, the point for Turkey for China. At the beginning, before the outbreak, so we choose uh, China. But after the outbreak happened, so we're going to change to Turkey. So we see that the financial model is the way for us to build up 
the relationship of all variables. Here is a variable because a variable is something going to be changed. Okay, something going to be changed and we cannot control. Something going to happen in the future and we cannot foretell. So that's why we gonna use the financial model to answer the what if question, which is mean that the question in the future. And the thanks to the financial model to understand and help us to make the good decisions based on the mathematical relationship between all variables. So that's just an example for you to make decisions about the, based on the financial model, so to give us that's a very good choice and a good decisions. And now I need to show to you that's the example for the exercise that I need you to do it at home and try to uh, think about that's the relationship between all the variables in the, our exercise. Uh, so please open the Excel file. All right, so we're going to come into the practical exercise. So look at into that Excel file. You can see that's the, the table. And the first column of the table, that is, is the taxable income. All right. And the second column is going to be the tax rate. OK. So uh, I just would like to let you know this is the personal taxable income. Uh, in, uh, and it's going to calculate based on that's the people who work, who earn the money, and they need to pay tax for the government. So every country is going to have a different tax bracket, which is mean that the different tax range and the different tax rate. Okay. So I just give you an example here. For example, for the one country, random country, that they have the taxable bracket like this, from 0 to 8,025, maybe dollar, and they're going to be taxed about 10%. Okay, It's a 10% from 0 to 8,025. And from 8,025 to 32,000, 32,550, that's going to be taxed about 15%, 15% for this range. And the next bracket is going to be 32,550 to 78,550. The tax rate for this range is going to be 25%. OK? All right, so you can see into the slide. And I just want to ask you the questions about the personal income tax. So do you know how the, to calculate the personal income tax? For example, if I see the tax bracket here, and I ask you one sim simple question. If I earn $5,000, 5000 If I earn $5,000, if I earn $5,000, how much tax I'm going to pay? OK, so if you learned about a tax already and you know how does the mechanism to calculate for the personal income tax, so you're going to be easily answer the questions. $5,000, if you check into here, it's belonging to the first grant here, from 0 to 8025 So which is mean that the tax rate is going to be checked, 10%. So the how much we're going to pay? 10% times with $5,000. So we need to pay $500. OK? So that's the... Uh, Tax we're going to pay for the government, $500. And I ask you the further questions. If I earn $10,000, how much tax I'm going to pay? If I earn $10,000, how much tax I'm going to pay? So this one is a challenging question. Why is it a challenging question? Because it's not easy like the first one. All right, I'm going to tell you why it's not easy like the first one. $10,000, we're going to analyze it. $10,000, it belongs to this rent, right? $8,025 to $32,550, right? It belongs to this rent. And normally, we think, oh, it's going to be the same here. We're going to take the 15% with time with $10,000, but this is a wrong calculation. So the way that to calculate the tax that you have to pay for the full tax bracket, and we pay one by one, OK? Which is mean that we over surplus this rent, so we're going to pay for this rent first. We pay $8,025 times with 10%. All right? We pay for this, and we pay 
the difference between ten thousand dollar, eight thousand, twenty five dollar, and which time what this range fifteen percent. All right, so that's gonna be the total amount that you need to pay tax. All right, so now you understand about how to calculate and how to find out the tax money that you're gonna pay for the government. So I just want to ask you the simple questions. I want you to build up the mathematical uh, equations that in this result, I want you to connect all the relationship between the old variable that we have here, and you're gonna give me that uh, answer for any number I'm gonna ask you. For example, if I ask you if I earn about $50,000, you have to answer for me immediately how much tax we're gonna pay. So thanks to the Excel, so I want you to practice at home and try to put on the data here into the Excel and then use as a mathematical relationship between all the variables and try to find out the answer. Okay, so I hope that you're gonna try to do it at home and good luck for your exercise. Okay, thank you everyone. If you have any questions, so feel free to send me the message or send me the email. Thank you. Have a nice day.